What's happening, y'all? Devil's Jenkins Jr. here, coming to you from the Grindelwald Circuit. And I'm smoking Dan Maxwell, and welcome to the Cadillac Collective. All these cars are sent from all over the world, and they must weigh 80 grams or less. We're running four car heats with the point system, and the top two in points move on to the next race. You are witnessing the pinnacle of diecast performance. Let's check out the first racer. Chan Man coming in hot, qualifying with a 968, representing Hash Family Racing. To his right will be this pink V16 built by Poe Boy, qualifying with a 990. Now, oh, would you know it? We got another V16. This one's by Dooley. Crazy 8's coming in with a 10 flat, y'all. Bringing the Skrilla Ferrilla, it's the Cash Money Boys with Ezra Jet qualifying with a 1030 is eight. Now I can already tell you're gonna be Dizum the whole Tizum. To the top, baby, they take out in the pink car of Poe Boy takes the lead. Pushing him behind is Dooley, which ends up coming in. Oh, oh, what in the world? He was able to flip around backwards and maintain second place. What an insane pace Poe Boy is putting down a time here in round one of the Cadillac Collective, y'all. What's he got? Let's take a look at the scoreboard, Ooh. holy mother of pearl, <laughs> ran a 9.50. Coming out of the gate, scalding balls, y'all. He ran a 9.50, that is insane. Definitely setting a fast pace. Good Lord, what happened to Dooley? <laughs> I have no idea. He flipped around backwards right there and old Chan Man gave him a love tap while Poe Boy got to the bottom virtually unscathed. Those V16s are long and low and they love the Grindelwald mile. That they do. We saw some impressive times in the qualifying for this event. Yeah. Po boy put down a 950, and that's going to be hard to follow. Good <laughs> Lord, look up there at Dagon Dooley. Oh, he flipped on his lid, and Ezra Jett uh, was able to maintain and make it to the bottom, picking up two points. Better luck next time, Dooley. Let's head to the top. Ezra Jett sitting at the pole position with Chan Man to his right. Ooh, Chan gets a jump on Ezra Jett out of the gate. Po boy pushing him right in his rear. They fall into a single file line in the top straightaway. Chan taking some speed out of that high speed corner right there, doing everything he can to block the surge by Po boy. Oh, it is oh. a surge. Oh, goodness. He took a hit oh. in the side right there. Can he hold off Poe Boy? He does. Good defensive driving right there by Chan Man in round two. Putting a good time down on the board as well, y'all, with a 10-19. Let's take a look back at the replay and see how he was able to hold off Poe Boy. He was definitely playing defense, Danny Boy. You can see he gets a little squirrely, and it wasn't very clean, but he got the job done, that's for sure. That reminds me of Andre Agassi back in the 90s. That sucker was never Never clean, but he got the job done. Oh, kind of like your mom. Yeah, uh. good defensive driving right there by Chan Man, holding him off in this corner, Spoke City, all the way to the bottom, running a low 10. Good job, Chan Man. That battle right there, I feel, is going to continue. Back to the top where Dooley is in pole position. Dooley and Ezra are side by side as they enter the first corner. Going too wide through the corners oh. and spitting out at the top. Oh. Oh. oh, my goodness, he flipped around backwards, allowing both Chan Insane. Man and Poe Boy to Whoa. pass Ezra Jet. Look at this defense right here. What in the world? Flip sideways. Oh, they get lost what? in the oh. tunnel. Oh, Ezra Jet from behind. <laughs> Unreal driving by Ezra Jet mm. from all the way in the back to lead the pack, <laughs> running a 12 30. Good job, Ezra. Wow, let's take a look at this replay. Dooley mm. flips sideways, Man. slowing down Ezra and allowing Poe Boy and Chan Man to pass. Yeah, Dooley was all about the defensive driving right here. He, in fact, gets in front of him and tries to barricade himself so they can't pass and get more points. And that actually worked for him. Mm. He ended up running them off the track inside of the tunnel, coming out thinking he was off scot-free. Oh, nope. man. You know, Ezra took that opportunity to make the pass on the outside and just showed him, listen, you can pass me, baby, yep. but don't mess up because I'm going to pass you back. Cash money, boys, in the hissy. Oh, back to the top for round two. I want to punch you in the face. Poe boy on the inside with Dooley on the outside. Dooley with the slight advantage heading into the corner. The cars are packed and stacked headed into the high speed oh, straightaway. Wow. Oh, poor boy flips around backwards allowing Chan to pass. Amazing driving right there by Chan. Oh, he is oh. going to pass Dooley on the inside too, but he carries too much speed. Can Dooley get the lead back? Oh, he's going into the oh. bottom. Oh, he flipped Man. on his lid allowing Chan Man to take <laughs> 
everybody to Squawk City. Woo! Oh, what a round of racing, y'all. Poe Boy lost it coming out of the corner right there, allowing Chan Man to pass. And that was just the beginning of this spectacular round Woo! of racing put on by Chan Man and Hash Family Racing. He throttles down going into the tunnel, carries a little too much speed, and gets all cattywampus. And Dooley gives him a nice love tap, saying, I'm going to take my position back, but Chan has other plans. He sent him to Squawk City, y'all, leaving him on his lid and, wait, is that a car? Is that Ezra? What, <laughs> what in the world happened to Ezra Jet? How'd you end up there, boy? Man, we really need to get a camera up there at the tunnel. Oh. I'm not sure what's going on with production, but that's got to happen. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I guess Ezra took a hit there from Poe Boy and knocked him off. I'm not quite sure. But uh, anyway, we got Chan Man moving on, and we're going to have to do a battle here between Poe Boy and Ezra Jet. The winner will move on to the next round. Let's, Let's go! go! All right, they're out. Poe Boy with a commanding lead heading into the turns. Ezra's really going to have to throttle down if he's going to catch Poe Boy. Yeah, once he gets out, it's going to be hard to catch him, and he looks like he is on a mission. Ezra has got to hit the scramble mm. button. Poe Boy is so far out in the lead, I don't think it's possible. Yeah, it's not going to happen, and congratulations to Poe Boy running a 960 and moving on to the next round, y'all. What an impressive first round of racing. We've got Chan Man and Poe Boy moving on to round two. Get you a pib. Watch this. We'll be right back. to you. Their 10th scale micro reality stock car racing system appeals to both grown-ups and kids. Check them out at facebook.com slash R-O-R-R-I-N-G. Welcome back, y'all. Big Mac is in the house. Qualifying with a 1054. This Seville is beautiful, y'all. My lord. And one of the OGs in racing. It is Red Pill Racing in the house with a 1479, which he is sure to improve on. No doubt about that. Poverty Holler Racing's in the house too, y'all, with a V16 running an 1108 to get in. And what a beautiful paint job by Kojo and Tex 10 Racing here on this El Mirage running an 1115. Let's head to the top. Big Mac in the Seville is about to drag race one of the best in the business with Red Pill. Red Pill takes out and gets the jump. The Seville is a little slow to take off, but he's catching up quick. They drop into a single file line coming into the first straightaway. Heading in that first curve. Oh, Red Bill gets a little out of whack and Poverty oh, Hollow man. passes on the inside. Holy mother of pearl, what a lick. He saw the opportunity to pass and Woo. he throttled down and made it happen. What a pass for Poverty Hollow. Coming through with a time of 10.23. Man, he made a statement right there. Poverty Hollow is on the map, y'all. Let's take a look back here and see exactly how it happened. He was definitely drafting coming into that corner. Kicked Woo. his ass in up high right there. Red Pill got out of whack. He took the inside lane and capitalized. That he did. Danny boy, some of the best side-by-side -side diecast racing is going down today on the Grindelwald circuit. And we're just getting started. These cars are beating and banging. Woo. Let's head to the next round, shall we? Yeah, man. Cold pib time. I'm getting fired up. Round two. Kojo with Tex 10 Racing now sits in pole position, drag racing against the Seville. Oh, what an even match on all four cars. They come in stacked high, heading into the straightaway. Kojo with Red Pill passing the Seville for second. Can he hold off that such... Oh, oh Red Pill flipped oh, on his lid there, y'all. Oh, oh, also Poverty oh, Hollow took man. a hit up oh, there as well. Oh, and then Good Kojo took Lord. a hit. Who was a dumbass pulling their Jeep out in front of a race? What are you doing? I have no idea. Kind of like a train. It's hard to judge how fast they're going, I guess. Oh. Good. Lord. I reckon you're right. Running at 1184. Man, my head is spinning. Let's look back and see what in the world happened. Well, Big Mac got out of whack right there. Red Pill was able to capitalize moving into second. He was carrying a lot of speed out. Went up on the wall and watched oh. Poverty Hollow. Boom! Man, Bam. he took a hit too. We lost two in that one corner. And then Kojo came flying out of the tunnel and this idiot has his Bronco oh, on the track. Gosh. Wow! 
He is Man. lucky nobody got killed. Well, that definitely slowed down Kojo right there. Luckily, it was on the front end. He didn't bend up a wheel or nothing. Man, that is unfortunate. Mm. Those spectators have got to be more careful. They definitely do. Let's send Kenny LaCroix down there to talk to him. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right, Kenny LaCroix is headed down there. Kenny, are you on the radio? Kenny LaCroix, everybody. Kenny? Our trackside correspondent, Kenny LaCroix. Kenny, this is Dan. Kenny LaCroix, everybody. We got him. Here he goes. He, he, I can see him. I just saw him standing up there. Oh, gosh. Never mind. Running a 1090. Good job, whoever won. I wasn't even watching it. Okay, I think, it, yeah, good job, uh, Poverty Hollow. Yeah, great job, Poverty Hollow. Let's take a look back and actually watch the race for the first time. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Poverty Hollow looks like he's having a pretty good run right there with Kojo coming up strong in the rear. Oh, man, he is entering that tunnel strong and quick. Oh, Poverty oh, switches sideways. Kojo Woo! tries to come on the outside and get sandwiched against those man, rocks. That slowed his momentum way down. Look what? at Red Pill hauling ass to the outside. Oh, and he man. is able to pass him in the final corner. Uh, woo! What woo! an epic battle, y'all. Golly. Running a 1090. Good job. Man, final round. hell of a job. And now Red Pill sits on pole position and Poverty Hall is out pretty strong on him. He takes the lead into the first corners. Look at that oh. run right there. Kojo is able to go to Squoke City with him. Man, Kojo slingshots out, gets a little bit squirrely. Mm. That allows Red Pill oh. to take him in the tunnel. Did he make a pass? Man, Poverty Hollow got a little bit crooked right there. And yes, Red Woo. Pill is coming in second. He passed Man. Kojo in the tunnel. My goodness, what a round of racing. That it was. Run in a 1041 and with that poverty hollow is moving on and nice. we have another tie for second place wow we're gonna have to have a runoff right here between kojo and red pill racing two rounds of racing and two runoffs boy these cars are wanting it bad you got that right if red pill wouldn't have passed kojo right there he would not be battling it out to go to the next round man that is some determination very strong moves right there in the final round of this one by red pill racing Poverty Hollow is moving on, and we are forced to go to another head-to-head -head battle. This is the tightest racing that I have ever seen here at the Grindelwald Circuit. 12 points for Poverty Hollow. He's moving on. Now it's time for the head-to-head -head battle, y'all. Let's head to the top. We got Kojo in the right lane and Red Pill in the left. Here we go. The drag race is on, and Red Pill falls a little short there with Kojo. Kojo takes the lead right there, coming through the corner into the top straight away. Red Pill is keeping the distance, but not catching up. Kojo gets a little bit squirrely. Is it enough to let Red Pill pass? Oh, he's keeping the distance. Oh, man, he is on pace and has it all. Oh, my oh, goodness, no. he flips over. Red oh. Pill hits him in the side, and wow. Red Pill will be moving on Unreal. to the next round. Unreal. <laughs> my goodness. That was an epic way to Ooh. end this first round of the Cadillac Collective. Man, all I can say is y'all stay tuned, will you? Boom!